Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're gonna talk about is paying to get your music on World Star Hip Hop a ripoff, how to get on there for free, and a couple of alternatives that just might be better. And y'all can thank this video to Jabiga, hope I said that right, because he asked, can you talk about video platforms like World Star Hip Hop and promoting sounds? Do you think paying $500 to $1,000 to get your video seen on these platforms is the way to go? First, you have to ask yourself the obvious question. Do the users of World Star Hip Hop appreciate your type of music? Think about it. Generally speaking, street music is the type of music that's successful on World Star Hip Hop. You're talking about the money, the drugs, and the women. That's pretty much the type of music. people. World Star Hip Hop aren't really going there to listen to Drake type music unless maybe it's Drake himself. And even then if it's the right type of music it's really hard to receive great positive feedback because of the environment that they create is so conducive to negativity. When you look at so many of the posts it's really about seeing something weird, seeing something crazy, seeing somebody get beat up, just setting up situations for people to roast on whatever the content is. Now if the demographic for your type of music is World Star Hip Hop's community, Prices can range from as low as $750 to $5,000 plus dollars. But if you do have 50,000 views on a video in the last 11 months, now this has to be legitimate, then you do have the opportunity to possibly get on World Star Hip Hop for free. Now they say they check rigorously, they can tell you better have legitimate comments. There needs to not be any kind of big name on your project who would have boosted the views. They want to make sure that you are the star that other people are looking for. And they made this known a while ago, so I'm not completely sure that this stands completely. They might have upped the amount of views that are necessary to get on for free so you would have to email world star for that yourself next now if you do decide to pay to get a video posted on world star hip-hop i suggest that you wait until you have multiple projects released or at least some kind of catalog of content that way people actually mess with you in your video and they decide to check to see more about you you actually have some more for them to check out remember having somebody's attention is a gift so that moment that you finally get their attention if they decide they like what you got going on and want to look deeper into you as an artist you better have something for them to galvanize and consume so that you can keep their attention for a good period of time and they can really become a fan of you as an artist if that one video is all you got then Good luck getting that attention again. You don't want to have to pay $750, $1,000 just to get somebody's attention every single time. Another thing is I suggest you promote a song on World Star that is already getting traction by itself. If you already have a project or you just have a single out that has been moving by itself, has been doing better than your other tracks, make a video on that one and promote that video on World Star. You want to put all your efforts behind something that is showing promise, especially when you talk about putting that money behind it. Also, within your music video, figure out ways to promote other songs of yours whether that might be showing links to your social media or doing a preview of one of your other songs at the end maybe a little snippet into the next music video just remember once again you want to maximize this attention that you have when you have it especially when you're paying for it I know I'm drilling down on that point but it's really how I operate personally I got money but I don't got no money to waste and while we're on this subject we might as well talk about the most popular well-known world star campaign which was by chaotic what he did was basically the very first world star takeover not only did he pay to get a song on world star he actually got almost the entire first of a page really like the first three rows he basically made each individual track of his project a cover for his mixtape and then he had all of those tracks posted on world star this goes back to that concept of being remarkable that i talked about recently if you haven't seen that video, is really the concept of making sure your marketing and your product is something worth talking about. The fact he took up so much room and it was showing so many of his videos in a row, it made people think of, who is this guy? How much did this dude pay to get all this space? Look at all these videos this guy has. And at the very least, it's gonna make people click because now they wonder who Chaotic is. There's a video somewhere with DJ Small Eyes of him talking about it, I'll put it in the link description below. Point is, if you can think of a creative approach for yourself, you wanna do that not only when you market on world star but when you market anywhere because it makes your money or your efforts go farther once you get other people talking about it them seeing it is one thing but them actually talking about that junk is a whole nother ball game so is world star hip-hop a ripoff i wouldn't really say that but will it give you the best return on your investment i wouldn't say that either and here's why world star hip-hop really exists as an island of its own it's really a glorified blog it doesn't really have any algorithms or ranking systems that truly automate and ensure that people get to see the the best 
content which means when things get posted it's pretty much a lot more chronological than ranking systems so once your content is up it's being moved further and further back if it was on a YouTube or something like that it's going to really work to help the users whoever those users are best fit for your content to ultimately find your content especially as you get more likes and get more views you'll constantly be rising up in rankings Skr let me stop and insert this because I forgot to do it at the beginning a perfect example of this island I'm talking about is if you look at a few of these videos I'll flash some up on the screen you'll see that there are a lot of cases where there are a lot more views on Worldstar than they are on the YouTube however they're providing the YouTube link within Worldstar it doesn't matter if you're watching on YouTube Worldstar or whatever website if the YouTube video is there YouTube will be recording your views so how does Worldstar show so many more views than YouTube one possible theory is a lot of haters exist on Worldstar and they just like going to the videos and clowning on people in the comments and stuff like that probably a lot of them are reading the comments before they even watch the video I know a lot of people do that on YouTube and this is just me skimming through the videos but it seemed like the only time that the actual video on YouTube had far more views than on a world star is when there were big stars involved who were probably getting their views from somewhere else so world star probably just put it on themselves for free to see what the comments would be like but back to the point whatever's going on it seems to be a real gap between actually getting views on your page on world star and that actually translating to legitimate views on YouTube. So if Worldstar offered a paid way to get on their YouTube page, I think that would be a lot more valuable for an up and coming rapper personally, but I'm not exactly sure that they do that. You'd have to ask them directly and see what they say. As far as I can see, it doesn't look like it. But they're capitalists, so if you got a lot of money, I'm pretty sure they're willing to make a little budge. But if you look on their page, everybody up there is pretty much well known and there seems to be a much higher standard for getting on their YouTube page than big getting on the Worldstar Hip Hop website. So what could be an alternative and even better option than getting on world star well one you have just actually posting your music through influencers but everybody knows a lot about influencers i'm not going to get deep into that a lot of people have trouble getting in contact with them i'm going to come up with something as far as a document at a later time to provide for you guys to help you guys out with that but the other option is using youtube channels like the other platform that jabiga asked about promoting sounds just trap nations there's so many youtube pages out there where they're basically just posting other people's music a lot of time it's popular artists but they also do sell spots to up-and-coming artists who are willing to pay of course it's always gonna be up to you to analyze whether or not their following is best suit for your type of music but at the end of the day you're automatically being embedded and inserted into the YouTube algorithm and ranking system on top of that their subscribers are gonna get a notification when your video is posted because you know that's how YouTube works is it completely worth the money invested the answer to that is really that's becoming more and more and more difficult particularly for only a single single payment of getting one video posted up there. Could I have just said that in 15 seconds at the beginning and then ended the video? Yeah, I could have, but I think it's a lot more important for you guys to have a perspective on how to think about these type of deals so you can think about the various situations that pop up for your particular situation yourself. That's it. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.